Hi everyone, I'm Corinne with Corinne Fox Fitness, and today I'll be leading you through a simple yet effective tight shoulder and neck yoga sequence. So for today's practice, if you happen to have two yoga blocks, go ahead and grab those. Um, if you don't have yoga blocks, it's no problem. Also, if you happen to have a strap or anything like a strap, grab that. You can use a scarf, a belt, a jacket, a towel. So have those handy and um, we'll go ahead and get started. So for today's practice, we will start in a heart opener if you have two blocks. If uh, you have two blocks, start with one block at the tallest height and the other block on the lowest or middle height. From there, you're going to gently lean on back so that first block rests just between the shoulder blades and the head finds that top block. If you don't have blocks, you can just come all the way onto your back, finding a brief Shavasana. So you might adjust a little bit so that first block is under, um, or resting between the shoulder blades, head is on the top block, arms fall down by the side, shoulders back. You might be here with the legs out in front of you, or you, if it feels more comfortable, you can keep the knees bent. Close the eyes. Take a few moments here just to unwind and let go of all the activities from your day so far. Start to turn inwards, focusing on the breath. As you breathe in, breathe in kind kindness and love for yourself. As you exhale, let go of any stress or tension that may be, that you may be holding in the body. So as you inhale through the nose, breathe in kindness towards yourself. And as you exhale, breathing out through the mouth, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you, any stress or worry, anxiety, let that go. Relax the jaw. Relax the skin around the eyes and the forehead. And with each one of your exhales, feel the body soften. You might like to place one hand on the heart, one hand to the belly. And you might like to set an intention for this little practice. You might think of a word or a little mantra that's meaningful for you and hold that with you throughout our practice. A few more nice deep breaths here. And then slowly take the hands off the belly and the heart if they were there. Start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Roll the wrists and the ankles. And if you were using blocks, um, we're going to gently just sit up enough so that we can slide our blocks out from beneath us and just lower all the way down to the mat, draw your arms to the side body. And then as you inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, find a nice full body stretch here from the tips of the fingers out through the toes. As you exhale, draw the arms down. Two more times, inhale, reach the arms up and over. Stretch, find length here in the, in the torso. Exhale, arms fall back down to the sides. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, stretch. 
and then exhale, arms come back down to the sides. We'll draw both of our knees in towards the chest, hands to shins, and you might turn to one side and gently press on up, or if you'd like, roll on up a couple times, massage the spine, and then when you're ready, come on up into Sukhasana. Crossing at our shins here, pressing through the sit bones, sitting nice and tall, shoulders away from ears. Let's just start by rolling those shoulders back and then go the opposite way. We always want to give our neck and our shoulders some love. It's so important. This is where we, a lot of us I know, hold our stress and anxiety right up in the upper back, neck, shoulders, right? <laughs> And then from here, let's inhale, draw the arms up, reach, reach, reach the fingertips, reach up for the ceiling, and then exhale, draw the arms down. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up, lift up and off the waist, exhale, arms come down. This time, inhale, reach the arms up. We're gonna grab our right wrist with our left hand, gently lift up and off the waist, and as we exhale, we'll find a slight little side bend. And then inhale, come back up. Right hand grabs that left wrist now, lift up and off the waist, exhale, and bend to the right. And then inhale, gently come back up. Exhale, find cactus arms. So elbows bent 90 degrees, fingers nice and wide. Inhale, reach up, lift up and off the waist. Exhale, and out. Two more times, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms one more time. Inhale, lift up and off the waist. Exhale, and find your cactus arms. Now from here, we're gonna just draw our, our hands down besides us and start to walk the hands back. Fingertips pressing into the mat. If that's too much, you can always place the hands on a block or a couple pillows or something. So roll the shoulders back, lift the heart. Lift the gaze, just finding this other, uh, another heart opener here. Maybe just silently thinking of one thing that you're grateful for, holding that with you right now. Take another deep breath as you lift the chest up even more. And then exhale, come back to center. And we're gonna move through some seated cat cows now. So hands to knees. As you inhale, lengthen forward through the chest. Neck is, neck stays nice and long. And then as you exhale, round back. Find the seated cat here. Inhale, neck is long, gazes forward slightly down. Exhale and round. Inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale and round. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. From here, we'll extend our right arm up, reaching the fingertips up for the ceiling. We're, we're gonna bend into that right elbow. Extend that left arm out to the side so that the thumb faces down. We're gonna draw our hand behind the back so either the fingertips might intertwine, they might hook together, or the, the fingers just reach for one another. Or you can go ahead, if it, if, it's, uh, if it feels good for you, if you wanna use a strap, just hold on to the strap and lightly pull in opposite directions there. Using that strap to help find length in the upper back. So maybe you're using that strap or maybe the fingers intertwine. Either way, we're, we're spreading the collarbones nice and wide. Open heart here again. Take a couple breaths and then we'll switch. On your next exhale, gently unwind. Roll the shoulders back one way and then go the other way. Now, if you used a strap, you want to place the strap on the opposite shoulder, just transfer it over. We're going to extend our left arm up, bend into that left knee like we're patting ourselves on the back. Extend that right arm out to the side, right uh, thumb down. 
draw that hand, draw the right hand behind the back. Now either intertwine the fingers, hook on the, hook the fingers together, maybe just reach for the fingertips or use that strap and hold, hold on to the strap. Collarbone spread wide, shoulders away from ears. Sitting up nice and tall. Maybe you close the eyes. That's nice too. On your next exhale, gently unwind. Just roll the shoulders back one and forth one more time. Loosening them up here. Now we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. Find your tabletop. So shoulders over wrists and tops of the feet press down into the mat. Now let's just flow through a couple cat cows here. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze up. As you exhale, press the floor away. Belly draws in and up. Just one more time here. Inhale, heart lifts, gazes up. Exhale, press the floor away. Cat pose, good. And just gently come back to a neutral tabletop. We're gonna place our weight into our left palm and now inhale, reach up through that right arm. Find a little spinal twist. Exhale, thread that right arm through, lowering the head down to the mat or maybe even a block or a pillow. Now, if you'd like, you have the option to take a bind. So you might wrap, take that left arm and wrap it around so the hand comes to the low back or it might draw all the way around to that upper right hip crease. Left shoulder draws back, so we're opening up the heart here. Really nice, take a couple of breaths. And then gently unwind, place that left hand down, gently press on up and find that tabletop. Place the weight into that right palm. Now inhale, reach that left arm up, find a little spinal twist and then exhale, thread the arm through so the head lowers. And maybe you stay here or maybe you take a little bind. It's totally optional. Wrapping that right arm around, bringing the hand to the low back or to the upper left thigh. Drawing that right shoulder back. Few breaths. Really nice, you guys. Gently unwind. If you're in that bind, press back up to that tabletop. Now from here, um, if you have a couple blocks, we are going to use them. We're gonna place a block in front of each middle finger. So from tabletop, there's a block in front of each middle finger at the tallest height. And if you don't have blocks, I'll show you how to do this in just a second without them. But first, if you have blocks, lower one elbow down at a time to each block, draw your palms together, and then slowly release the head down between the arms. Draw the hands behind the back of the neck. And just hang here. Just let the head hang, releasing some pressure in the cervical spine. Now, if you don't have blocks, you're gonna do a very similar thing. You're just gonna draw your elbows down to the mat so that they're shoulder distance apart. Draw the palms together. Slowly release the head down. Hands draw back. So the head is pressing lightly, not too hard, in uh, the mat. Just a couple breaths here. So same sort of thing. Hold whatever variation you're in there. Hold for a few more breaths. Maybe gently nod the head yes. If you're using blocks, shake the head no. And then slowly start to lift your head back up between the arms. And then if you're on blocks, gently take one elbow at a time off the blocks. You can place the blocks to the side for now. Spread the knees nice and wide, bring the big toes together, sit on back, finding child's pose. 
See how far you might uh, walk the fingertips up towards the mat. A little stretch there in the, in the arms. And then from child's pose, slowly start to rise up to the hands and knees, curl the toes under, press back, find your downward facing dog and pedal out the legs. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Now from our down dog, extend that right leg up behind you, toes point down, inhale, knee to chest, step that right foot through and gently lower that back knee. From here, extend up through the arms. We're gonna hook our thumbs together and pull them apart. So really feeling a little openness in the shoulder blades. Pull the thumbs apart. And then gently now release the thumbs, draw the arms down. Hands come behind the back, intertwine the fingers, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Maybe you find a slight smile. Good. And then gently release, inhale, reach the arms back up, exhale and hands come down to frame that front foot. Curl the back toes under, step back, find your downward facing dog. You might pedal out the legs one more time. From down dog, extend that left leg up behind you. Inhale, knee to chest, step that left foot through. Just gently lower that back knee and then extend up through the arms again. We're gonna hook our thumbs the opposite way as before. Gently pull them apart, finding a little release in the shoulder blades. Good. And then gently release the hooks, of the, uh, re release the thumbs, and then draw the arms down behind the back, hands intertwine. Fingers intertwine, draw the shoulders back, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Little smile here. On the next exhale, release the clasp of the hands, extend the arms up, and then exhale, hands come down to frame that front foot, curl the back toes under. Step back, find your downward facing dog. From down dog, release the knees down to the mat, spread them wide, bring the big toes together, sit back towards the heels, draw the arms down by the sides. Finding this child pose here. Taking a few breaths, noticing where the mind is. Is it wander, has it wandered off? And if so, without any judging, draw your attention back to this moment. Slowly draw the arms back out in front of you, rise up to the hands and knees, cross the ankles on top of one another, sit on back. Find Sukhasana, crossing at the shins, sitting tall, shoulders back, placing two hands over the heart, closing the eyes, taking a moment here to acknowledge the time that you took out for yourself and for your yoga practice. Take one deep inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top and then exhale it out through the mouth. Feel your whole body relax and let go on that exhale. One more time, inhale through the nose. Hold and retain the breath. And then exhale out through the mouth. Gently blink the eyes back open, release the palms down to the thighs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you feel good after today's yoga practice for tight shoulders and neck. We'll draw our palms together towards the heart, sealing in our practice. Have a wonderful rest of your day and the light in me honors and sees the light in each of you. Namaste.